Medicare's annual open enrollment period begins October 15th and ends December 7th. During this time, current Medicare beneficiaries have the option to adjust their coverage for the coming year. Any changes to your plan will go into effect on January 1st, 2022. This is an opportunity to reassess your current coverage and identify potential areas for improvement. Maybe you've recently changed medication or you find yourself underutilizing coverage, or you're in need of additional benefits. Before open enrollment begins, you'll receive a report outlining your current coverage. Review your elections carefully, especially if you have not updated coverage in the last few years. Medicare offers a plan finder tool to help compare other offerings if you're considering making a switch. Your health insurance coverage in retirement should work to protect your financial well-being. This is why I'm doing a three-part presentation series on the topic of Medicare. Two weeks ago, I did a 30-minute overview on Me Medicare basics. Last week, I talked about transitioning to Medicare and how health insurance works after you leave your job. This week, I'll take a deep look at what people need to know about Medicare and long-term care in a more comprehensive presentation titled Managing Healthcare Expenses in Retirement. If you'd like to join me live, or if you'd like to be notified when the recording is made available, please head over to the events page on our website for details. The exact web address is www.investwithccg.com forward slash events. In this week's recap, the debt ceiling was raised until December, and the employment numbers paint a confusing picture. I'm going to play the intro here, and then we will take a closer look at what's going on in the markets. Life is too short to worry about what the next headline could do to your life savings. Hi, my name is Eric Hagan, and I keep my thumb on the pulse of the economy and the markets so my clients can focus on the things that are actually important to them. Thank you for joining me the next few minutes on today's weekly economic video update. The overhang of bumping against the federal debt ceiling was lifted last week with an agreement to extend the debt ceiling through early December, helping propel stocks to a weekly gain. The Dow Jones Industrials Average increased by 1.22%, while the Standard & Poor's 500 added 0.79%. The NASDAQ Composite Index gained 0.09%, and the MSCI EFI Index, which tracks developed overseas stock markets, was flat, positive just 0.11%. So the debt ceiling concerns have evaporated for now. Let's take a closer look at what happened last week. After suffering losses on concerns over delays with raising the federal debt limit, stocks rebounded as the Senate moved toward finalizing a debt ceiling agreement. While the agreement is only a short-term solution, it was enough to embolden investors to buy stocks. The week's rally ran out of gas on Friday, however, on a surprisingly weak employment report. Though the debt ceiling was the dominant concern in the markets last week, the market grappled all week with the headwinds of higher energy prices, rising bond yields, inflation, and a less robust economic outlook. <clears throat> employment remains a confusing and unpredictable element of this post-pandemic economic recovery. Automated data processing's employment report showed private sector jobs rose by a robust 568,000. This hiring surge may have been aided by the end of extended unemployment benefits and the return of children to school. This improving labor outlook was reinforced the following day as weekly initial jobless claims fell below their four-week moving average while continuing claims fell by nearly 100,000. The employment report on Friday was a different story. The economy added a disappointing 194,000 jobs, making September the slowest month for job growth this year. The unemployment rate declined to 4.8%, while an increase in wages generated inflation worries. As always, later on today, I will be emailing out our full economic update. If you're not getting this and you would like it, you can head on over to our website and subscribe to that email list, and then you will get it. 
In this update is also our financial tip of the week. If you are looking for ways to save money, you'll want to pay attention to this week's update. We've also got different financial data that we're watching, uh, companies that are reporting earnings, uh, plus a riddle for you and a quote as well. And of course, while you're over there at the website, be sure to check out and RSVP for those upcoming events. Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Here at Capital Consulting Group, we provide personal wealth planning and fiduciary investment management solutions for individuals, couples, and families. To learn how to see your entire financial situation, both today as well as every year into the future, go to clearfinancialfuture.com and watch the short two-minute video. To learn how we give our clients life savings the attention it deserves and to see how we're doing, visit smartmixportfolios.com. And lastly, if you'd like help investing your 401k at work, visit me over at 401kinvestmentpros.com. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.